Hey, Paul here with Team Fat Boys, and uh, it's kind of cold outside, and I, I was sitting there figuring, trying to figure out something that I could do, and uh, I come up with something that I hadn't thought of in a long time, and uh, I wanted to, to let you guys check it out. What I've got here, this here is an extension cord. It's about 15 foot long. It come off of a, a vacuum cleaner. Uh, no sense cutting up a good extension cord, but this is about 15 feet of uh, cord, and it's heavy cord. And what we've done is I've already pre-done part of this. <coughs> is you want to slice through the casing until you can uh, pull out both wires. Go go about two and a half, three foot. That way, when you hold it out like this, you end up with a nice span. And uh, go from there. The other thing is, uh, I'm going to take a clothes hanger. This here's one uh, that hasn't been cut yet. But what I'm going to do, or what I've already done, is I've cut these into the lengths. Uh, you can use welding rod, uh, anything like that. Um, that's got a little bit of stiffness to it. Um, you're going to want to have a uh, pair of wire cutters in order to uh, cut the clothes hanger you're going to want to have the pocket knife of course to uh, pull the casing off and to clean the ends off right here you want to clean off about two to four inches and uh, did this kind of stretch for time this one here what we're going to do is we're going to get up here we're going to squeeze this we're just going to turn it around. You can use uh, you can use sandpaper. Um, I don't have any available, so I'm just going to rough this up with a pair of pliers, like so. And uh, the wire. If you have, uh, if your your cord has a bare wire or a green wire, don't use it. You only want to use the black and the white. But uh, anyway, so now that I've got this round, you can use solder, um, which I normally do, but I don't have access to it right now. So I'm just going to uh, wrap it. You can also do it like this. It doesn't hurt it. Uh, sometimes, though, a connection may not be uh, as tight as it needs to be because it's worked loose or the, the tape has got wet. So normally I just... Uh, solder them and uh, to be done with it or you can crimp them that's another way to do it I haven't really done any like that but so that's the first one okay go ahead and okay let me have it I get you okay what we're doing is we're plugging it in. Here comes one. See how he's squirming? Go ahead and unplug it. Never reach down there and grab it while it's still plugged in, but um, they'll come out of the ground. It shocks them and they come right up. Um, the grounds are really, really soaked right now, so there's not a, they're almost drowned it out. But, you can take this just about anywhere and do it. And uh, dry the worms, it really helps when it's, uh, when it's cold outside.